So I'm going to show you a little gadget that you might want for your home theater system, especially if you put all your devices in a closed up cabinet. It's in the category of remote control extenders. The particular one I'm showing here is probably the best of them. It's the next gen remote control extender genius. And what most of these remote control extenders do is they'll have a transmitter and they'll have a receiver and they communicate with each other using radio frequency RF and what most of the transmitters will do is they will look look out for the IR signal from your remote control so you'll, you'll point your remote at the transmitter it'll pick up the infrared signal then send that over RF to the receiver and then broadcast that IR signal from the receiver to whatever it is you're trying to control with the remote and they're generally okay but this one works with the same concept but it does it a little differently and in my opinion it's better what it does is it takes the radio frequency transmitter and installs it inside the remote this is a AAA battery size remote and what you do is you replace one of the batteries in your remote with this transmitter and it comes with a pair of these two-thirds size AAA rechargeable batteries that can be recharged inside the receiver. You just take one of them and you put it inside the transmitter like so. And I'm going to say right now, since this is radio frequency, this works on 433 megahertz. There's also a 418 megahertz version that you can get, but technically that's the older version. The reason it's on 433 is it's less prone to interference than what would be on 14, 418 megahertz, according to what people have said. Now, if you've got an IR remote that takes double A's and not triple A's, well, it comes with a double A battery sized sleeve. Just take your transmitter with your two third triple A, slide it in there, and now you've got a double A size battery to use in your remote. Now, some of these things that come in the box, you do get kind of a quick start guide here. I've already shown you the battery stuff. And it comes with a single IR blaster cable. This connects to the back of our transmitter here. And it's got two ports, so you can connect up two of these. Or you can get these with three IR blasters on them and connect them up to one port. So you could technically do up to six devices with this, but I've seen six IR blasters on one connector, so you could theoretically do 12. All you have to do is, if you get more of those, just get more of these transmitters and put them in your remotes that you need, and then they'll all work through one receiver. Now, looking at the receiver, it does come with a 12-volt AC adapter. It's already plugged in right now. I'll just plug it in here and you'll see it booting up. Once it's fully boot booted up, it'll go dark like that. Now, if you've got additional receivers that you want to set up with this, you hold the top button on it, and there's three lights will go, and then all you gotta do is hit a key on the remote that you've got the other the transmitter plugged into. It'll pick it up on here, and it'll register that transmitter's frequency on there. If you want to get out of it, just hold it down again. And that'll lock it. Now, on the bottom of the transmitter is where you find the charging port for your batteries. So you take your two third triple A's, put them in there, and it'll charge. Now, this will be constantly solid. If there's two in there, it'll be flashing if it's one. So it'll let you know how many's in there. The other thing is there's a control switch at the bottom here. A, B, C. A is the one probably everyone will use because it's supposed to be the most compatible with the IR devices. That's the other thing about the Genius. This is the latest model from next gen and it's supposed to be the most compatible with all IR remotes and devices. And B is a secondary mode. If A won't control your device or work for some reason, you can move that over to B and then you can try again with that and see if it works. Now C all that does is make it less sensitive. This is kind of if, if you're in an enclosed environment 
say like a boat or RV or you're in an apartment and you don't want to be interfering with somebody else that might have one of these or some other reason you can use it in C and that'll reduce the sensitivity of the receiver. So, get that back to A. Put the cover back on. And of course you got your little flip up antenna. Just comes up like that. So, let's demonstrate how this works. I'm going to test it out with a television. The Dynex one here. So I'm going to take my transmitter with my battery in it. Going to put it in the remote control and now let's go try this out. So we've got the genius set up pointing at the television. I've got my remote control with me with the transmitter in it and now we are going to walk away. Dark bathroom. Okay. And I still get the remote with me. Hit the mute button. And the mute should have come on on the television. I'm going to unmute it now. And let's see. Hit the menu button. See, that should have brought up a menu on it. Exit out of the menu. And let's see, we'll change modes. I'm going to change to video. I should have put it in composite video mode. Nothing's on there. Component stuff, nothing on there. Hit the VGA button. That should go back to VGA. And then now I'm going to turn it off. Let's head back and see if the television is turned off. And look at that. It's off. So there you have it. The genius is working. Through radio frequency, converting an IR remote, I can control any IR device from within 100 plus feet of the receiver. So, again, that is the next-gen remote control extender Genius.